Wait a second. A new opponent has interrupted the tournament. Hello everyone and welcome to Gamer's Ledge for another unboxing, but this time it's not one but two unboxings. It's a double unboxing and uh, we're actually, Dan's here to help me because he's unboxing one half and then I'm unboxing the other half. Uh, we're, we both have Curse of Strahd products for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Dan, where did you get yours from? Uh, I ordered mine from a gigantic website that everyone has heard of. Ah, the, the one that everybody does, yes. It, yeah. it, you could almost say that you get, your, your, your purchasing was prime in the situation. <laughs> oh. It was, it oh, was prime. Yeah. So, and then where I got mine from is Beatles and Grimm's, which if you have not heard of them, uh, we've done a couple videos on the, the, the street on the uh, channel so far from them. They are a purveyor of high end D and D accoutrement. Um, but this is mo mostly just to give you kind of a, a compare and contrast what you get from each of the boxes, mm -hmm. because I actually don't know what was in this one. I was going to buy this one and then my wife kind of helped give me part of a present. So that's why I ended up getting the Beatles and Grimm's one. So, Daniel doesn't know what's in mine. I don't know what's in Daniel's. So we're going to compare and contrast and see where we, we uh, end up with. And, and you get to see the top of my bookshelf, which never happens on camera. Because <laughs> this is the first time in the new studio that we've done an unboxing. And I have nowhere to do one. I have to stand up and lean over the table. So there we go. <laughs> so fun. But Daniel, take it away. Well, actually, let's go ahead and start with yours. Because your, your, your mind is out of the box. Oh. Or am I doing the whole thing? No, no, do the whole thing, and then we'll compare. Oh, okay. Because so, there's um, a lot in my box. I so, think. first things first, uh, this Curse of Straw revamp box is in the shape of a coffin. Which is awesome. Um, it is roughly 16 and one third inches this direction, 13 and a half inches from corner to corner, and about three inches in depth from top to, to tabletop. Um, the uh, for a uh, size comparison that you can actually note, um, that's a roll of painter's tape. So it is a very large box. Uh, a friend of mine said he was looking into this and decided to just get the book, the rule book that comes in it, because he had no idea where he would put the coffin. Um, it's a it's a nice kind of show set, but he has no no place for it. So. Um, opening the cellophane. That front picture, is that just a, it is just a sticker. That, that's a, what I was wondering, like it's a, a, a it's decal, a, overlay. It's a sleeve, yeah. it's a sleeve, so, um, to keep the box shut, I'm sure. Oh, oh, uh, so it actually wraps around the coffin. Yeah, it wraps oh, around that's cool. the coffin. That's cool. Um, and so it's, it's kind of neat, but I wanted to show off the artwork on the front because I thought it was pretty slick. And then on the back, it's just black, just matte black. So, I think what I might end up doing is use this as a gigantic dice tray. So you're saying the back's in black? The back's in black. You hit the sack. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cool. Ah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> nothing like nothing like opening the coffin and seeing Strahd. That's pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. Bless you, bless you, bless you. 15 sneezes. Okay, so you have a picture of Strahd that is in the shape of the coffin and all of Strahd's stats on the back. Oh, he's only challenge rating 13? Uh, 15. 15. Yeah. But also has legendary actions and the sword. That's neat. That is, that is pretty neat. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's wow. That's, that's, size comparison. yeah, no, that's a great size comparison. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Um, next is, oh, that's different. So most of the um, horror books that I've been getting um, from the Wizards of the Coast series, the modules and the like, are hardcover. And this is available in a hardcover. However, this one is a soft cover. And oh. is wrapped with a what looks like a GM screen and maps. So let's see. 
uh, soft cover, which I don't hate, actually. Um, interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Um, but so that's a soft cover of the module, um, the Curse of Straw revamped, um, which I have for a lot of reasons and pairs very nicely um, with the Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. I have a Creatures of Horror. Um, it's like a, almost like a well put together pamphlet that has a bunch of the um, horrific monsters that you will be able to find in the module. <clears throat> I have the Taroka Deck Guide, um, which goes over kind of the, the version of the tarot deck that has been popularized through Ravenloft. Um, and I have a set of what looks like handouts, um, which I remember writing. I wrote these um, when I ran this in second edition. So that's kind of neat um, that I have handouts for that. That's pretty neat. Uh, I have maps, which are fold out and, oh. Oh, they're laminated, it looks ooh. like. So they're not super high quality, but they are, um, like, laminate, kind of. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That you can use a wet erase, and on the back is the is Castle Ravenloft. So this is Barovia, the domain of dread that surrounds um, Castle Ravenloft. Or Von Schwaz, you know, summer home, uh, and then the castle itself. What, yeah. what's, what was that thing you just picked up? It is a GM screen. I was pulling the rest of the. Ah, off. ah, ah. Um, so this was one of the reasons I actually wanted this kit, and I, it's dumb. I, I will admit. However, I, I, the reason, the reason I have two other fifth edition GM screens. Um, and I love them. This is a specialized GM screen for Ravenloft that has Ravenloft art on the on one side, and a bunch of the same normal information you get from a um, from a GM screen, as well as specific horror things like the mists of, of um, Ravenloft, Barovia names, the Barovia calendar, how to read the cards. Um, nighttime random encounters that are kind of focused on this location. Um, that's all in that um, uh, GM screen. And then finally. And listen, man, collecting GM screens is nothing to be ashamed about. There are some cool ass GM screens out there. And that one looks really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with it. And it has very simplified art, which I really like. And, and then, I, think, I think this is it. And and yeah. as we're as you're opening that Taroka deck, um, retail on this one I believe is one hundred. And you got it for how much? I got it for fifty five. That's that's a pretty good buy. Yeah, um, it's you can find it. <clears throat> being that the hardcover book, I believe is thirty five to forty five for the hardcover book. I, and that, that doesn't come with any of the additionals. Yeah, no, you, that's um, a great deal. Yeah. And it actually wasn't, I, I saw the deal in a couple places. Um, so definitely. Because I did it. see it, I did see it at a local game store here and it was full retail there. Yeah. So that's a good buy for almost half, 50% off. And if that's what you get, considering the books are, like you said, 40 to 50 bucks if you can pay 10 to five to ten dollars more and get all that stuff that's pretty cool that's a good buy. It says almost like a shiny oh nice um yeah that's pretty cool Gloss, glossy and card stock it seems glossy like. card stock yep uh and with like some metallic on the back which i wasn't expecting and then no one um, no one expects metallica yeah no one expects the spanish metallica uh, and then, wow, they double saran wrap these. That's interesting. Um, they knew we were doing a double double unboxing. So. Yeah. And then these are Barovian postcards. Oh, nice. 
Oh, that, nice. That you can, um, I guess the idea is you can <laughs> fill these out and send them to your players as a warning of what they're about to get into. Um, and <clears throat> not really a spoiler, um, but I'm, I bought this set because I'm looking into Ravenloft as part of a game I'm currently running locally that I'm hoping to maybe share with the stream. Uh, come here pretty soon, but that is it. The boxes, um, the rest of the box is just filler, um, but it's super neat. I am super, super happy. That is, you should be. That's super awesome. No. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, Beatles and Grimm's uh, not cheap. This is also for the Curse of Strahd. Uh, this is their legendary edition. It's the first time they've done a legendary edition. Um, and in, in theory, it is the same story, same module correct. that I am running. Correct. It should, all, the, all the content should be... Well, let, let me rephrase that. All of the official D&D... The Wizards of the Coast written... Written products. modules. You know what? Actually, I can't even say that because I know they split the, they split the, the stuff up to make it easier to run. So we'll see. Um, oh, but, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I have, uh, I did not get a tape measure. I didn't realize we were doing that. Um, it, this, I know it's hard. You can see my hand. It's a big freaking box. It's long um, and it's deep. I have not, I just slit the top because it actually got lost in UPS. Uh, and as as did this one. Yes. Super strange. Yeah, super strange. And uh, I, I should say that this one is a little more expensive. Retail on it is three ninety nine, and there are no discounts for Beatles and Rose. So I was a little worried. And not not only that, but they sell out <laughs> immediately. Fast. Yeah, really, really fast. So um, this is the first time I've opened. Oh, oh I, don't I misunderstood what you meant. Yeah. Mark had told me he slid open the box, and to me, I opened my box and pulled out this box, right. thinking all of Mark's came in a box like this. So, just to be fair, I still hadn't even <laughs> opened this box all the way. I just now cut the yeah. right side of it so I can open it, because I have no idea what's in here. Uh, let's see. Oh. So, uh, first off, it looks like an entire map canister an entire map can canister for castle ravenloft i believe it is every room of the entire castle um well <laughs> so i went to turn it upwards and the bottom fell out and some stuff fell out so hold on i gotta oh. go get it So just for you guys out there, um, we've looked at some of these sets uh, before the Beetle and Grimm sets um, to include pieces that were able to be found on eBay and the like for Waterdeep and, and those kinds of things. Wow. So I don't know exactly what these are, but we'll open one and see what it is. I'll tell you right now, I already know I'm a little bit jealous of what I see right there. Okay, I have it. I can undo it. I think there's your finger puppet. Oh, oh, they totally are. So I have the Barovian Deed. Yep. The Barovian Deed of Property uh, from Gustav and Elizabeth Durst. This, this cries out for a nice wax seal, which is easy enough to do. So yeah, that's the first one. And uh, I'm not sure what the second one is. But you get the idea. I don't want to. Yep. I'm just trying to figure out space alignment. So we'll do this. So these are indeed finger puppets. Oh my God, this is heavy. Jeez. Uh, I know the total weight of everything is 17 pounds. I'm wow. thinking that this is the bulk of it. This is this thing is pretty meaty. Uh, let's. Oh, wow. Don't worry, we'll come back to the maps. Yeah. So okay. this looks like it is 
uh, talking about everything that's. Oh yeah, it's it's basically everything that's in the box. So there are indeed five finger puppets: the faceless bride, the werewolf, the marionette jester, the zombie cleric, and the vampire strahd. Yep. Nice. Uh, there's some other things that we'll get to in this box. I also have a. Oh, I thought this was going to be the handout. I, I thought this was going to be a soft cover like yours, right? Yeah. That is not what it is at all. It's oh. all it's all handouts. Um. Hand- can I see? Yeah, that that in specific, that small one, the master's guide. Master's guide. Beatles and Grimm's. Oh, it's for you. It's for you. It's for you. Oh, that's beautiful. I love GM. I love GM tools. That's yeah. amazing. That's beautiful. It tells you where to go, where you should go next. Oh, nice. And in the bottom right, it shows by height which map you should be on. Yep. That's pretty doggone badass. Not gonna lie. Right there. And these seem these are. And like I love that it's map. done like it's a freaking yep. amusement park pamphlet that's wait, wait, what's the, what is it what's the back look like it's it's a map okay it looks like these are all encounter maps is that is that the case that indeed looks like uh village of barovia yeah. yeah 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 things that things that were on my big map you have as smaller layouts that look look amazing yes so you could hand these out uh, and you may not have to hang the hand those out if it is what i think it is What's that? I, I think these are all for the GM. I think you're correct. And I think all of these mimic maps that are rolled up. That is 100%, I believe, to be correct. So that's pretty bad. So this I is think the, that's a GM folder. It is the GM folder. I think you are correct. And then let's see what we have here. Holy crap, look how many. <laughs> what is it? So these are, these are monster cards. They're all encounter and monster cards. So, so on the back is detailed information? On the back is all of the stat blocks ah. and the the background for whatever it is. And you can hang this over your GM screen so that the the players see the monster and you see the stat blocks. Oh, so they're tents. They're tents, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, is that your rack seal? There's your rack seals. There are my wax seals, as I was stating. It was calling out for, and with a 3M backer on the back. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So this is the front one. Uh, it it actually cites the person. So this is a straw zombie, and it would go over your GM screen. And, and there's that. nothing on the inside, right? There is nothing on the inside. Yeah, on that's the back. beautiful. We that's have amazing. The stat block. Um, and there so- are... It's everything in yeah. the entire... Probably all of the major encounters. All of the monsters. It's crazy. Yep. And they're all absolutely stunningly illustrated. That's really, really cool. It's pretty baller. Okay. So we'll set those aside for a minute. And I also have a, it might be the same deck, so. Uh, yours might be a little bit bigger. These are pretty big. So they didn't deviate from that. Oh, I can't, I can't get to the wax seals yet. They're not separate. They're sealed. They're, they're, they are sealed in a bunch of other stuff. First up, we have the bag. And inside the bag will probably be the coins, would be my guess. Oh, wow. These are much bigger than I was expecting them to be. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're much bigger. These are... The, you, I, you remember we got the dragons on the previous mm-hmm. unboxing. These are like two to three times the size of those. Mm-hmm. These are huge. What's on the back? Oh, that's awesome. And you have four? Three. Three. 
three of them. And then in this bag, mm -hmm. we have the medallion. That's awesome. That is pretty badass. I really feel like I need to be mounting this to the head of a staff to discover the location of the city. So those are the two bags that were in there. And these are... Are they um, tents? Yep. They are tents. So probably to show players different um, NPCs? Vistani campfire scene, location one, chapter one, uh, plea for help. So these are for different points in the campaign to illustrate what's going on. So your other ones are monsters. Yep. And these and, are and, events. And these are events. And artifacts, apparently. Awesome. That's... I'm kind of trucking through. They're all yeah, cool. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And then... So these appear to be... Oh. <sighs> Letters and props. So I do have envelopes. I have writing parchment. This is actual parchment that's already been pre stained. That's pretty baller. And then these are probably. Uh, oh, is that already wrinkled? It's already wrinkled, yeah. Yeah, so these are probably the letters that I was showing you that I have as handouts. Yes. You have them as props, as full props. Yep. What's the other side of the fact? Yep. This is a page torn out of a book. It is a page torn out of a book. I actually know what many of these are because the, the props stay the same. You just had to make them yourself back right. in the day. Yep. Wizard of Wines, courtesy of Ban uh, Von Zerowicz, awesome. Red Dragon Crush, bottled on 725. Oh, these are stickers. Yep. Oh, you can actually put these on wine, put on wine That's yep. badass. Sorry. So, yeah, uh, quite a few of them. Oh, I have a family will, it looks like. Oh, that's awesome. I have... Uh, the same map, it looks like. Fold out map of Rovia. Village, and yes, so that's... That's very interesting. So some of the stuff came from this box. Mm -hmm. And then they expand a lot so, on a lot of this other stuff. This is the page I tore. You can see it in the top left. Uh, I yeah. tore it, but it doesn't really matter because... It's already... A it's page. already a, a worn page, so... And it's water stained and damaged, so you can't read some of it as you're not supposed to be able to. Mm -hmm. And then we get actually in the first non props. <laughs> we actually get uh, information about Strahd's invitation, human pal. Oh, uh, pre made starting characters. Nice. So that you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to have anyone roll anything, they can just pick up and play. Uh, looks like there's six pre-made characters. Yep. We've got some more artwork. I'm not sure what the... Oh, this is a bonus encounter called Hunger of the Wolf. <laughs> nice. Uh, my guess is a guide for the Taroka deck. Yep. Oh, no. This is a bonus encounter specifically for the Taroka deck. Nice. That's pretty interesting. Uh, looks like we've got some fungus among us. Bonus, bonus encounter. encounter. Yep. Oh, buddy, look at that badass scarecrow bonus encounter. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's a delicious looking scarecrow. That's, those are amazing. I'm sorry, this is the only time you'll see them. Yeah. Just kidding. I don't know, that's probably true because you'll never run. <laughs> well, I did buy it, so. So yeah, you're not gonna run it. <laughs> you're so mean. 
I think that the wine bottles is pretty pretty darn amazing. It, it's pretty baller. I'm not gonna lie. Two, two of those would end up on wine bottles just to go on my shelf. Yeah, and and Lexi would definitely be like, no, we can never open this wine ever. <laughs> we have a flyer for the festival of the Blazing Sun. Oh. Does it open? No. Singular thing. Mm-hmm. Making sure because I don't trust. And then we get to the meat. So I also have the soft cover, except these are the these are special printings just for Beatles and Grimm's. And that's, I, what it, that's what it says. Yes. And because it is actually broken the entire campaign into separate modules, unlike the the yep. original one. So here you can see right here, uh, this book contains uh, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. The second book contains chapter four of Castle Ravenloft. Yep. <clears throat> Chapters five through nine in this book. <laughs> and then chapters 10 through 15 in this one. <laughs> and then it looks like we have an appendix for the Creatures of Horror and the Taroka deck. Oh, so they, they put those two things together. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then that is your GM screen? That is my GM screen. Nice. Mine is a half sheet. Yours is a full one and has maps. Yep. It has maps, that. random encounters in Barovia, chart uh mm -hmm. areas by level random nighttime encounters uh key references with page numbers of where to find them um a barovian names guide mm -hmm. creating npcs on the fly uh important barovian npcs and their locations uh that actually takes up two pages that's awesome yeah that's not bad and the image on the back oh wow i'm trying to keep it straight that's cool yeah and it's specially labeled so that's mm -hmm. cool and then this is probably your strawed character piece yeah so this is the strawed tent it is mm -hmm. full watercolor which is pretty mm -hmm. i can't figure out which way to turn it in 3d space there we go that's pretty baller and then on the back i love that she's in front of a mirror yep 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 and that's all his stuff so that's the contents of the box and this is the box that you put on your shelf Jeez, all of that all of that was in the box and we still haven't gotten to the the maps yet no that is awesome. Now, I will also say that this is a legendary edition, not a platinum edition. The platinum editions go for a hundred bucks more. I missed out on the platinum edition. This is the first time they've ever done basically a second printing, and that's why I grabbed it. Um, the uh, platinum editions also have figures. Oh. And a couple more things. So... This isn't even all you could get. It is all I could, oh, it's all I could get, but it's a, it's not all of it. So there's that. <laughs> and it's really heavy, by the way. <laughs> I know well, it's got everything in it. Yeah. Okay. And it fits easier on a shelf. It does. Not, I don't know where mine's going to be able to fit. But that right there is probably the biggest thing I'm jealous of. Those are amazing. Be very careful with those because they look like speaker toys. Yeah. No. No no dogs are ever going to be. They're finger puppets for Lestra uh for Lestrad. <laughs> for for Curse of Strahd. For Curse of Strahd and a lot of the bad guys that come with them. Hi there. How so you doing? So that's my, that's my next character for your campaign. How you doing? 
Quer dizer? É. That's what she said. Um, that's that's in my next character for my campaign. That creepy marionette Joker. I would like to know why it feels like I have someone's finger up a place it doesn't belong. Vampiric prostate. <laughs> oh, oh, this one's super creepy. Don't like it. The faceless bride. Yes, that yep. is. Yeah, it's not picking up on camera very well. But yeah, yep. there. It just looks like a white blob, but it's it looks like a person, but there's no face. Do one, of, one of the scariest scenes, depending on how you decide to roll it as a GM, is the scene with her. I believe it. Are they vinyl? They're they all vinyl? vinyl. Yep. Every single one of them. Let me try and try and take that inside one and make it smaller. Yep. It's vinyl, the thickness of paper. Okay, so now that you have it out, does it look like vinyl? Just thin vinyl. It's. I mean, it feels like it, but but it's it's still got the brittleness of paper, sort mm -hmm. of. It's it's that thin. So I don't know is the answer. If you drew on it with red, red, red eraser, dry erase, you didn't have a problem. I don't. I. I don't think I would. It's not gloss, so I don't. I don't know about that. Um. That's awesome. Oh, I've got it turned the wrong way for the camera. Hold on. So this looks and like it's one piece. You would have another one that lays next to it. Right. It is double sided. Hmm. So it looks like there's a inside of a courtyard on this side. That's cool. I think it's the, I think the outside maps are the ones that are definitely uh, vellum or vinyl. Mm -hmm. Vinyl is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, there's a lot. It's every room in there and if you get a legendary or platinum edition you do i believe also get the codes for D, &D beyond so i have to find them wow so yeah let's see if this will actually go back in i think it will so that's it the um castle ravenloft Curse of Strahd modules that you can get both on Amazon. Uh, uh, oh, we were probably not trying to say that, but that's okay. That place or uh, from Beatles and Grimm's, um, both good buys, uh, values for the money, in my opinion. Um, yep. It just comes down to what can you afford. If you're lucky and people love you, maybe they'll buy you a Beatles and Grimm's. <laughs> or if you have a group that's willing to chip in, that's not I've, expensive. I've I've seen that quite a bit as well, where um, groups will band together when they know that a product is coming up in their days and days. Yeah, because I will never let go of this out of my cold dead hands, ever. Yep. Um, yep. So. Um, super, super neat. Uh, and I'm super happy with mine too. This is those bonus encounters that I'm probably going to want to try to get my hands on, but um, I'm pretty happy with what came in my set too, because I could have gotten the hard type of book and just gotten the modules, but I liked having the extra props and the um the cards and all of that stuff Let, let's be honest the bonus encounters are not what you're going to try and get your hands on it's going to be the finger puppets yeah but you don't even notice what are finger I'm gonna, puppets i'm gonna leave small squeaky dog toys in there you'll be fine <laughs> that's going to do it for this unboxing episode well let us know what you liked most out of each of the different boxes uh, and which one you'd rather have and uh, make sure to check out all the coverage we've got coming up for uh, ta live tabletop games um, on the channel both on twitch.tv slash gamers ledge and of course youtube.com slash c slash gamers all one word and uh, thank you Daniel until next time thanks for watching game on game on